Hey, what's up you guys? Long time no voiceover. So in today's video, I decided I felt like doing a fun tropical set. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So first I'm gonna show you guys all the colors and stuff I used. So this video is all glitter balls. It's gonna be from my site, Nail Throne. In case you didn't know, I am the owner of Nail Throne. So the colors I'm gonna be using in this set are Dazzling Tangerine, Pink Martini, Bubblegum Flake, Tropical Flake, Annabelle, Soft Gold Shimmer, and White Satin. I also used Hema Free Monomer in this set and I used the Glitter Bells Extreme Length Tips for the first time. I'm so excited to get these tips in. I really wanted to use them. So that's actually one of the reasons why I filmed the set. So I'm gonna be using my Red Iguana hand today in this video and I'm gonna be using this hand a little bit more on my channel because my nails are still too short. So until then, this is just what I what I got to work with, you know? Um, I hope you guys don't mind if I use this hand. I really enjoy this hand. I feel like it looks super realistic and real. The only thing you're just not gonna see is prep, but I have tons of prep videos on my channel. Plus I'll include prep when I do my own nails. So if you guys just wanna see some nail art, then the fake hands are great for that. Okay, so let's, let's talk about the design. So on the middle finger here, I'm actually gonna be doing a cutout design. So to start that, I did actually go in with the uh, Dazzling Tangerine, but I found it way too bright. So I ended up wiping it off and starting the set using the white satin. So first I'm going in with white satin. I'm kind of creating like a tiny half heart. And then I'm just using my brush to carve it out. So I'm adding the Annabelle glitter over top because I really wanted to include that in the middle center here. So I'm just gonna let that dry for like a second here. And then I'm going in with glass slippers and I'm covering up that heart because I'm gonna be filing it. I'm gonna be filing over top of it and I'm gonna be carving it out even more with a hand file. So I'm gonna let that nail dry and I'm just moving on to the ring finger now. So on this nail, I decided to do kind of like an ombre fade with all the colors. So first I'm going in with pink martini. This is a new uh, colored acrylic. It's so pretty and smooth and easy to work with and it has no shimmer or anything in it. To fade it up, I just flip my brush upside down and gently pull the product up. So I'm just patting and pulling this until it's super, super flat and even. And then I'm just going in with a bead of Dazzling Tangerine. So Dazzling Tangerine is extremely pigmented. I almost covered all of my color up. So I tried to use such a little amount, but obviously it's super pigmented. So I'll have to add a little bit more of the pink. So now I'm going in around the cuticle area with Dazzling Tangerine, just trying to get it nice and smooth around that cuticle area. And then I'm gonna fade this down. So I definitely added a lot less this time because I didn't wanna overdo it because I'm gonna be covering all of this with glitter. We don't want it to be too thick because then you'll accidentally file off your glitter. So this needs to be really thin. So I'm just fading all of that together. And then I'm gonna add more of the pink martini just to add a little bit more pink since I covered a lot of it up. And I'm just using the belly of my brush to kind of push the color up. This will just blend it, but it really doesn't matter how blended it really is because I'm just covering it with glitter. So I did play around with my lighting here. You might see my lighting change a little bit. It's just trying to make my lighting work. I actually changed around my whole setup. So I was just testing out some lighting and stuff. So I was actually filming two camera angles, but the second one didn't turn out. So I'm just playing around until I get things correct for you guys. So on the orange, I went in with the tropical flakes. And then on the pink, I'm going in with bubblegum flake. And on the very, very tip here, I'm going in with the Annabelle glitter. So I'm just gonna brush away anything I don't want. And then I'm patting that nice and smooth. I'm gonna leave that to dry before encapsulating. So on the pointer finger and the pinky, I decided to go in with a marble design. I didn't really like this that much. This didn't really turn out the way I envisioned it, but I cover it up with glitter anyway, so it really doesn't matter. It ends up turning out cute in the end. So I'm just going in with all the colors that I showed you at the beginning and just pulling them through each other. And then I'm just gonna build this up. It's gonna be really thin. And then I'm gonna go over top of all the color with all the glitter that I have. So now you can see me adding some of that glitter now, bubble gum flake, tropical flake, and then I'm gonna add more around that missing space there.
Okay, so on this set, I decided I wanted to do um, some cover pink going over top of your glitter. So I know that Pinkerbell cover is quite opaque, so I just double dipped it in with soft gold shimmer and I placed it on and then just kind of washed it down the nail. You really don't want to add a lot there. So that's what I did along the line and that'll just overlap the cover pink over top of the glitter a bit. Then I went in at the cuticle area and faded that down again using less than normal just because I don't want this overpowering and taking over. And then I'm just replacing a little bit of that glitter. Moving back over to the ring finger. That nail is dry. So now we can file this. So like I said, you're just going to take your file and you're going to carefully go over what you did with your brush. And this will just refine it a little bit better and give you an even better clean cutout. So I'm going in with Pinkerbell cover and I'm creating the same thing I just did but with a different color and then I'm just creating the heart around what I already did. It's okay if you overlap because you saw that we file this. So it's all right if you overlap it, just make sure that you get it all even and then I'm going to encapsulate it and clear again. I'll let it dry again and then we'll come back and file. So this is very tedious but that's why you just keep going on with the other nails and come back to it. So letting that dry, moving on to the pinky. And now I'm doing the exact same thing that I did on the pointer finger, except I'm kind of doing it on the opposite corner. So again, going in with all the colors, kind of putting them down, using the tip of my brush to pull them through each other. They're kind of placed down semi-wet. And then I'm gonna go in with the glitter. So Tropical Flake, Bubblegum Flake, and Annabelle. And then I will again show you guys placing the cover pink over top of the glitter and how little you need. Just a teeny tiny bit. I did mix that like I did on the other finger with the soft gold shimmer. And that way it just shears it out a little bit. And I'm just gently pulling that over, just washing it over. Then my cuticle bead. I'm bending the finger downward, pushing up towards the cuticle area. And then I'm just going to feather this down as well. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more of that Annabelle glitter. And back to the middle finger. So again, you're going to file this nail until you get it as even as you can. You're going to debulk it and you're going to want to remove any of the color that overlapped your first cutout. So that's what I'm doing here. Once you've done that, you can wipe off all the dust and then cleanse. And then if you see that you need to file more, then file more and then re-cleanse. But I didn't on this one. Now I'm going in with Pink Martini to do the last cutout heart piece. So again, this can be sloppy. It can be overlapping. It really doesn't matter. What matters is the out sharp outline. So you want to try to ex at least make it quite even so you don't have a wonky shaped heart. But then again, I am doing kind of like a hand painting, hand painted pink line with some sugar on top at the end. And so that was my plan all along. So if you make any mistakes, you can always cover it up with some hand painting. So this is just for fun. And if you make a mistake, just cover it up with some hand painting. There's so many ways to fix your art mistakes with acrylic and gel. So. If you do make a mistake, I'll show you how to fix it. So now that I am letting the middle finger dry again, I'm going back and I'm going to encapsulate these nails. So I'm starting with the first nail I did, which was the ring finger here. And I'm starting with covering up and encapsulating just the tip first. Once I get that nice and even, I'm going in around the cuticle area. I always bend the finger downward so that the product goes down the nail and not, not like spreads into the cuticle area. First, I get my cuticle nice and even, and then I just pull and pat the product down and fade it into the bead I added at the bottom. And then I'm going to add an apex. Since these nails are so long, I definitely need more strength and more acrylic. I know this is a fake hand, but let's pretend it's not. 
So I'm just applying a bead near the cuticle area again and spreading it down the nail, making sure that I keep that apex right where the strength would need to be and feathering off any extra product that I don't need. Okay, going back to that middle finger again. And now we are filing it again. It looks super thick and crazy right now, but in the end it ends up turning out pretty cute. So that's the fun thing about cutout designs is they look so crazy while you're doing them, but they end up turning out so cool. So the file I'm using, if you are curious, is my Glitter Bells metal file board with 180 on one side refill and 150 on the other side. So after filing, I did wipe and you can see that I made a mistake there and didn't finish fully finish file that. So now I'm just going back in and filing it some more, trying to get it nice and even and perfect before encapsulating. Cause you don't want to encapsulate the mistake, right? Unless you want to fix it with gel at the end. So after that, I'm going to go in with the tropical flake and surround the nail with the glitter, not overlapping this time because I am going to encapsulate this nail and create an apex. So here's how the whole set looks after it's been encapsulated. I finished filed off camera and here is how they look after filing. I just refined the shape and got rid of the bulk and made them a little bit more tapered. I wanted to add some crystals to this design so I ended up picking kind of like a vintage rose kind of color and I'm just applying them randomly all over the nails just for some extra glitter glue I'm using is my Glitter Bells face glue as well. So you're gonna wanna make sure that your crystals are dry before you go in with your top coat, which I did. And now I'm going in with my Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat on all the nails. You don't wanna overlap your crystals or else you'll dull the shine. So just try to avoid them. You can push it up close so it kind of seeps underneath them just for extra adhesion, but try not to overlap them. And you can get top coat on top of like embellishments. I use those rings in this and that will be fine, but just not on the crystals. So I'm not done this design yet. I'm going to show you guys a gel, a little bit of a gel design I do on top of the heart. So I'm not finished quite yet. So I'm just going to finish top coating all of this set and then cure it fully, let it cool down, and then I'll do a little bit of a gel design. So I'm gonna be using my new Glitter Bells brush here. This is a 20 millimeter liner brush. So this is the brush I'm gonna use. And then I'm just going to draw with some pink gel on the heart. I love this brush. I found that it worked really well for this kind of design, um, putting the gel exactly where you want it to go. So I'm just outlining exactly where the pink is on the nail. And I'm just trying to create 
a line that's quite even because I'm going to add some sugar glitter on top of this. So I couldn't decide if I wanted to do more than one line. I kind of wish I did, um, but I only went with the one line. So you could do this on all the lines on here or just the one line, or you could outline the middle center uh, heart piece as well. I wish I had done the heart a little bit more refined. I don't think it really looks like a heart anymore at this point. What do you guys think? I just feel like it looks like a cutout now, just like a random, <laughs> random cutout. So I'm going to go in with the Glitter Bells Loose Glitter Mystical in the Fine. And I'm just going to sprinkle this over top of that wet gel. And then I'm going to give that a cure. I'm not really going to wipe off any of this. I'm just going to fully cure it like this. After that was cured, I'm just wiping it off. I don't like the way it looks. So I decided to just go right in with that gel again over top, which will make it thicker and stick out a little bit more. Almost like it's 3D. As well as fill it in so it is perfectly even all around and now I'm not gonna put sugar on top of this I'm just gonna cure it as is and I really liked the way it turned out so sometimes you can kind of just shift what you're doing based on how it turns out because sometimes things don't always turn out exactly as planned after that's been fully cured here is how they look I love this set so much I think they ended up turning out really pretty halfway through I wasn't really confident with my design but I did draw out something to to go off of so that helped a little bit as well so I hope you guys like this set all the colors you can get here from my site nail throne or if you're in the UK I will link Annabelle's site down below thanks so much for watching guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up consider subscribing and click the bell next to it to be notified when I post and if you'd like to stay and check out some more videos, there are two linked here. See you guys next time.